Afternoon guys, just thought I'd bring you back uh, to show you a little DIY candle lantern here, what I saw on, um, oh, I'll have to link it in the description, um, Fire Point Survival I believe, basically the one I'm going to use is a little um, Heinz baby jar, which actually holds 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 tea lights, roughly measures Seven centimeters, so seven centimeters by five centimeters. So, nice compact little design. I'll show you what you need. So, we'll need some snips, we'll need some pliers, little needle nose ones would be ideal because you could do this with your Swiss Army knife, a little uh, Swiss Army knife project here, just some copper. That's just hard drawn copper, copper for one one of my uh, antenna projects. So yeah, I'll cut some bits to size, and we'll have a go at making a candle holder. Right, so basically what I've done, just measured up a rough length against the jar. You can see there. Bending it back on itself, and just twist one little loop there. You can see that. What I'm trying to do is get a rough shape underneath the rim there because ideally I want to try and use the lid but obviously I've never made one of these so I don't know what it'll be like. be great for all your uh, vintage campers. It's a bit of a rainy day today. I want it to be out in the woods, but it's when you start picking up a lot few projects past the time. So I've just put a little twist in there. So now I need to make a little loop That's not really going to plan, but Better.
just go like that. to make the bill handle a techie bit of copper make a loop around the jar so it's stowable snip that off there can always make another one if need be Try and do is make this round to fit around there so it's storable. Looks nice as well with it being in a copper. So I want them facing in. And the bail handle. Just nip your bail handle off so they don't ping off. You get the gist here. I mean, I'm doing this on court. You could take a bit of time and make something really nice. Punk that in there. Let's see what sort of light it gives off. is you need a match really <laughs> can't lie yet need matches and I don't know how many lumens a little tea light candle gives off but let's have a look I'm just going to switch my air light off Get rid of the natural light. There you go. I mean, that's lighting up the room there. Be great. I can imagine it being in the top of a lavoo or something like that. There's a fair bit of wowzers. Quite a bit of heat coming off that, to be honest. 
and as I say you can store one two three four five six six candles in there I mean how long does a tea light burn for an hour two hours that's just a little idea a little stacking candle light cool thanks for watching guys